do. I thought about it a couple of weeks ago and I thought that this is something I must share with you because the wedding season is officially here. I'm sure so many of you are out there attending weddings with for your friends, families. A lot of people attend weddings that they don't know people for but that's okay because that's what parents make us do all the time. Anyway, so what I've done today is recreated my makeup from my wedding for my Nika and Sangeet day. If you guys have already seen the video, you recognize the look. If you haven't, I'm going to add the links to it down below. I hope you guys have seen my Sangeet playlist. My Nika and my Sangeet were on the same day, sort of back to back. It was unconventional, but it is what I wanted. I felt like because the Nika lasts only about 5 to 7 minutes, uh, I wanted the rest of the evening to be super fun. So we sort of clubbed the Sangeet and Nika together. Uh, we started dancing after we were married, not before. <laughs> so to create this look, I could not think of a better person to collaborate with than Smita because she is one of my closest friends, one of my oldest friends and she did my makeup for me through all my wedding functions, three of them in Bombay and one in Chennai. So I felt like it would be impossible for me to recreate this without her and I'm gonna go ahead, dive right in and bring her here, Smita. <laughs> okay. Say hi, hi guys. This is the first time you're officially on my on YouTube, YouTube channel. Yes. Um, well, she did my makeup for all the functions like I mentioned. So I absolutely had to bring her on board to come and do this look on me. So coming to the look, uh, I was very sure about the fact that I wanted a certain type of smoky eye. We didn't foresee that both my main looks would end up being smoky yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, something to match your outfit. Yes. So I knew I wanted like green to have emphasis with my makeup like you can see on my eyes and that's mainly because my outfit was very pink and green and I wanted something that complements that. Uh, today of course we've not gone with the exact hair, I've just done my own curls and sort of like decided to sort of just go with the look. I was actually hoping to wear my outfit but logistics didn't work out for that, I'm sorry about that. But today is all about the makeup uh, and you want to describe what the look essentially was makeup wise, what we did through the entire thing. So basically uh, the only I think change that we've done is with your hair. You had a poof and a uh, curls on your wedding day, today you left it open on one side. Uh, so we've gone in for a green smoky eye with uh, a little smokiness on her lower lash line and uh, pink lips obviously to like go with the whole tone of green and pink in her outfit. Always. Uh, yes, highlight of always. We love highlight don't we? Yeah. And a uh, little flush to her cheeks. So that's what the whole look is. I also didn't want to be one of those brides that was extremely, extremely caked up. I felt like I wanted my foundation to be very natural and I wanted the contour to be as subtle as possible too. So yeah, before we continue talking as much as we do, let's okay. dive right into this and you can see how we created this look and try it too. We started out with prepping my skin with the Revlon Photo Ready Illuminator, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and some Cetaphil Moisturizer. Please bear with my voice through this voiceover because my voice is slightly gone but I'm trying to be as audible as I can. So we went in this order of the moisturizer, the primer and the illuminator and prepped up my skin. Next up, we prepped my under eyes with the MAC eye cream. This product is absolutely amazing if you have lines on your under eyes as well, just like me. I don't like it when that ruins my makeup look, so this is great. Then we use the Kryolan concealers in two different shades to correct my dark circles and then go over them to sort of even out the skin tone with my face. Then with the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, which is one of my favorites, I hope you guys have seen my detailed video about this, we went over my entire face to just sort of give it a really nice base. What I absolutely love about this foundation is the fact that it stays for so long and literally just doesn't move. On the day of my wedding, we actually opted for airbrush foundation which gives you such an amazing, like literally airbrushed look. Um, but because I wanted to do something that was easy for you guys to recreate while watching this video, we opted for liquid foundation and I chose Smashbox because it's one of my favourites. Then with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, we sort of set in all the spaces where I thought I might have sort of lines popping up like my laugh lines or my under eyes and of course later we covered this up as well with the uh, Laura Mercier brightening powder. Then we went on to adding a little colour to my face with the help of Nars' blush in the shade Orgasm. This is an absolutely amazing shade, I feel like it goes with all skin tones and I needed to hydrate my lips, that's why I was saying Smita put Nivea's lip balm on me because hey winter's coming and I have dry lips. <laughs> 
Then with the help of the L'Oreal Illuminator, we added just a little bit of brightening to the high points of my face. This is great to use before you actually go into using your highlighter. Then we use the NYX Contour Kit, which is absolutely one of my favorites because I feel like this powder is just magic. It works really well for subtle to actually building up the contour. And I didn't want to completely uh, have caked up makeup. I just don't like that. So I feel like something like this is really nice to use and have. We contoured both my cheekbone as well as my jawline for the perfect photo finish. Now I usually never contour my nose but because Smitha insisted I agreed uh, we went ahead and contoured my nose just a little bit before going into the highlight which we used on the high points of my face again with the help of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Highlighter. Then it was time to get into the eye makeup and we started with the MAC Pearl Finish in this limited edition pencil called Black Line. I know it's called Black Line but it's actually just a really lovely green. I knew I wanted a green smoky eye like I told you in the introduction. We went ahead and used the pencil after which Smitha blurred this out, sort of smudged it out on my eyelid. This was followed up with some powder finish from the NYX eyeshadow palette in warm neutrals. We opted for slightly earthy tones to help sort of add transitional shades to the outline of the green socket which was actually an amazing decision Smitha made. Remember that the one thing that's going to make or break your eyeshadow look is the way you blend it. Don't under blend it or over blend it because you need to be able to make a powerful look with this part of your makeup and for that you have to know exactly when to stop. To make the eye makeup even more impactful, we took Inglot's green eyeshadow and added a little bit of sparkle to this eye. Now this is not exactly glitter but it is very shimmery and I feel like it was the perfect lighter shade of green we needed to complement the darker shade that we used with the help of the pencil to sort of add dimension and a little more 3D-ish look to the eye makeup. Me when I went to the terrace for the Haldi while yeah. walking up the stairs. Yeah. She stops and she like, Smita. I walked up the stairs. I took two steps towards the terrace and it hit me because I could hear the song playing up. And everybody continued walking, pushing she me stopped. to walk. I stopped. I refused to move. I was like, Smita, I need Smita yeah. right she now. She literally I could feel like, it. And I was last holding a dupatta and she like, Smita, she was like, like you I was and I was like I was like this is it my makeup is somebody get Smita and everybody was like keep walking and then I like looked up because they didn't realize I was crying and I looked at it and Max was like she looked at me she like, Smita <laughs> calling Smita. <laughs> Moving on to the brows, after that one story, we used the LA Brow Kit in the shade Medium for a powder finish perfect for my brows. I feel like my brows hold powder really well and if it gets really hot, even though I don't really tend to sweat a lot, obviously the um, clay effect, the gel effect of the brows would have ruined my makeup so I feel like this was the perfect fit. Now even though I tend to use Kajal only on my upper lash line and for eyeliner, I agreed to let Smita use it as normal Kajal for me um, because she feels like a smoky eye needs to be completed with something on the base and I couldn't help but agree that black was the perfect fit. Then we went on to use the L'Oreal Gel Pot Liner which was amazing as a finish. Uh, for the eyeliner choice that we had to make. I feel like this product has always been one of my favorites and I feel like that entire gel look as opposed to liquid liner look is something I personally totally dig. Then for the finishing touches we used the Maybelline Nudes palette and chose the shade black to just go in and smudge out the in-between gaps that we found between the liner and the smoky eye. This added a really nice dark outer corner to the entire look as well and plus of course the gaps got filled. Then with a little bit of the Bobbi Brown highlighter once again, we highlighted my brow bone and used a little bit of the Urban Decay shadow to just sort of add in a pop to the inner corners of my eye. And then to absolutely complete the look, I wore false lashes and teamed it up with this Maybelline mascara, used this lip pencil from Color Bar and of course two of my favourite liquid lipsticks and the look was ready.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun filming it. We enjoyed recreating it as much as we did on the late wedding day. We we as sort of broke into uh, songs every oh, now and then. Yes. I might add a blooper reel at the end of this, so stay tuned for that. Uh, might I'm not sure because I think I'll embarrass myself the <laughs> oh most. My God. But if you guys recreate this look, be sure to tag me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I hope you guys are already following me there. Yeah. Bye guys. See you in the next one.